Wait, where is the restroom? because we have a four-day weekend so we are off for good friday and then we are off monday because it is built in as a bad weather day even though it's not bad weather we've still got it off so we're packing we're just gonna go spend the weekend in dallas um we don't really have a real plan just some shopping we're gonna try to take cole to this like oversized grand like bouncy event um but if it's too cool then we're gonna do something inside that i saw um but i'm just packing right now trying my best to pack i always do this at the last minute and i always regret it and i'm always tired and i always just throw stuff in there for me so like cold stuff is packed and ready i'm trying to figure out my life i literally just threw some stuff together and pray it works because if i'm running behind him i don't want to be dressed up like i want to be comfortable but I don't have any cute like sweats sets that aren't thick and wintry. So I haven't purchased any clothes and I don't want to purchase any clothes until um, till I get my body into the shape that I want it to be in. So, um, but I have a whole hot mess going on right now and I'm trying to get my life together. I'm trying to pack as little as possible. So whatever we forget, it's just forgotten because and I twisted up my hair this morning so I can wear a twist out. Since we'll be rolling today, I'm just going to put a cap on it. And then it'll dry while we're driving. I'm going to wear that. And I think while we're gone, I'm going to do... I have been really contemplating buying a new camera. I really want to go to Best Buy while we're gone and look at one. Um, and just see if I really like it in person. I was going to order it on Amazon, but it was going to take like four weeks. I don't really want to wait that long. I don't even think it was four weeks, but it was longer than what I wanted to wait for it. So here is the current packing situation. So this is mine. That's all my clothes. My charger, my light makeup i'm just gonna throw that on today shoes and i'm just gonna wear tennis shoes the whole weekend this is cole's little overnight bag clothes undies etc jacket i have not packed his bag fully yet um but i have his little tablet in here just some wipes extra wipes that's for the car a few pull-ups um, for um, the car ride. I haven't decided if I'm going to put pull-ups on them because it is like a four and a half hour drive. Or if I'm just going to put like these on him for the ride. I don't know. But I am taking his insert that um, goes in the car seat. So, And I have his little travel toilet in here. And I keep a bag, like a little Ziploc bag of medicine. Neosporin. This is his little luggage. This is his backpack with the sh with the strap. So, because he always wants to walk by himself. A few extra pull up A blanket for the car ride. This is his toys. So I always pack a luggage full of his toys. I don't know if I'm gonna take this because he hardly plays with it now. Um, I have his headphones in case these die. Then he has the plug. His piano. These, he's had these since he was a baby and he still puts them on the window and plays with them. So I still pack them. His tools are in here. His dinosaurs are in here. His drumsticks are in here. Um, yeah, his little 
action figures in here this stuff will keep him busy for like 30 minutes <laughs> and then my mom always brings toys that she has at her house because she's like the gadget queen and she got him a little um table that goes across his lap that he can do stuff on so she'll bring that i don't think i need the rest of these cubes but i'm gonna try my best to pack everything in my middle size luggage i need new luggage though because when i got these it was perfect it was just me and now i pack for two of us and i always have to pack the oversized one and it's really huge and then the this is the middle one and it's not very deep or huge at all um and then this is my toiletry bag. I normally use my case with like the handle, but like I said, I have to condense because I'm packing for both of us. And then I'm just gonna take this little bag with me. I normally don't take a purse, but I'm taking it just in case like we go to church. I'll take a purse because I normally just throw my stuff in his backpack. Um, my hair's done, but I am gonna take this just in case. Edge control. I have my vitamins. So if you did not see the video, I will link it. But I've decided to start taking these vitamins. Um, ooh, I need to lotion my hands. Um, this is the probiotics and the D3 from Black Girl Vitamins. So, and I will update y'all on these because I actually did like message the company to ask them some questions. So, and then this is just my planner that I want to get ready and plan for um april and like the second quarter because we're literally going right into april just a little note book like i've been taking notes in here my budget planner because i need to update my budget and calculate up my expenses for march i can tell you now i did not stay in budget um hard drive i'm take with me i don't know where i'm putting all this stuff yet i'm trying not to walk out of here with four bags but it looks like i might um charger for my work laptop is under here because i need to do some school work and um work work <laughs> i don't really like have a lot of work to do but we're testing next week so i want to make sure like all my paperwork is done ahead of time and then my laptop because i want to edit this video while we're on vacation so it can be ready for monday and um just some miscellaneous stuff in here microphones cords all that jazz and the last thing, once I put all this stuff up, the last thing I need to do is get that kitchen cleaned up. That That's one. And then um, pack snacks. I always pack him snacks. So yeah, that's where we're at right now. Okay, I'm actually ready on time. So I have our luggage with all of our stuff in it, his, um, his baby bag, but really it's got like his blanket, pull-ups different stuff so that actually will probably just stay in the car all weekend uh well it's got medicine in there too so i always take medicine his toys his little insert i washed it um because he had food all over it but we're going in my mom's suv so i got that out my bag of all the stuff that was on the table my work stuff his stroller um that's just snacks with extra trash bags like to throw away trash as we go and then this is actually all the stuff that I just bought him and I'm bringing it because when I go out of town, I always find better stuff or, you know, different sizes. And so like all like the shoes and stuff, I got him these shoes, but I wasn't sure if I wanted those per se. <laughs> so I brought it just in case I find something different and then I can just return it while we're out of town. So I'm about to get me a cup of coffee and just sit and chill for a minute. Cole's not here, he's with my mom. They're on their way and he stayed with her because we submitted our classwork that we have the class together. We submitted that like Monday and then the rest of this week I've been working on the seven, yes seven, assignments for my 15 week course. And I don't know why this week had so much work, especially on Easter weekend, like it just, but I submitted five out of the seven so that's why i have to take my um planner with my laptop with me so that i can finish the other two they are due by the first um and it's like one's a paper and one's like one one is a two-page paper one is a one-page paper i can knock those out in no time but i mostly do all the driving um my mom likes to ride so i do all the driving so i have to wait till i get to the hotel to do it but i'm extremely sleepy so i need some coffee before we Morning guys, so we are here. We just got to the 
at Bounce House. So we there were two different ones, and this one seems like a little bit more his age. It's called the the World's Biggest Bounce Park. We'll see about pricing. Can you say hi? So update on the potty. So we've been in a pull up when we've been riding for long distances. And he has been telling me he needs to potty. However, we have not made it. And so we just got here and he needed to potty. And so I'm not gonna lie, we peed outside. He's a boy, it's okay. But I just hit him between the doors of the car and we pottied outside and we keep peeing. Ready? Yeah. Ready?
through some things. Good Lord. We're in the mall. I'm trying to find the restroom. We took a break from jumping because we jumped for like an hour and 15 minutes straight. Where is the restroom? I tried to fix myself up a little bit. It didn't work. But anyways, we were having so much fun. But if you go to the world's biggest bounce house, I advise you to take the socks that you get from like the trampoline parks with the grips. That would have been so much better if we brought our socks, but we have to take a break. So I'm just going to do a little bit of shopping because, you know, why not? Rushing to the party. Rushing to the party. No. Okay, where are we at? Yeah. Wait, this is you, right? Yeah. You ready? Yeah. Okay. Are you ready on him being ready? Yeah. He said he ready. Yeah, I'm ready. We are back home. Oh, that felt like the longest ride. Um, I think y'all can probably hear my mom in the background. She's so loud, but they're eating. And so I am going to take this time and start like unpacking all our mess because mm, it feels like we came back with so much more than what we left with. But anyway, it's potty training on the road. I don't know how y'all do it. People that live in the big cities that have like long ways to go. The longest part of our trip is like maybe 45 minutes every day and I make sure that he uses it before we get in the car each time. I opted out to just leave him in a pull-up because every time he would tell me he needed to potty, it would be like, okay, let me hurry and get you there. And then, so I just don't feel like we're potty trained. Except for we are. He tells me it's just too late, you know? So I'm going to go get this stuff unpacked. to keep going i'm trying to unpack my luggage like i unpacked his toys which is simple um i had some stuff that my aunt sent for me she gave me some duvet inserts and i have been wanting some because i want to revamp my room and actually decorate my house and like put it together because i literally have blank walls and furniture like i never did anything um really to this house and i have a separate video that i'm working on to actually do that because i want to start decorating and like finding my style because i've never decorated this space by myself even when i went off to college my aunt helped decorate my room and then um when i moved back home like i didn't do any kind of decorating and then when covid hit i got into like just fun little projects like i learned how to make flower arrangements and I stained the cabinets and I redid the bathroom and I just had fun with it and so I want to try to do my home because it's my home and I can do whatever I want to so that's coming I think it's going to be more in June I need to get past Cole's birthday and get past um like star end of the year stuff because um we have star testing all of April and then we have map testing in may plus like i prep for the next year like make trying to make schedules trying to get the kids schedules done ahead of time so it's not so much when we first start the school year but once we get like to may it's like and i am doing summer learning but summer learning is not hard at all so probably about may june i'm gonna start like really working on my house um, which is why I started during spring break with fixing some of the stuff that needed to be fixed. I lost my train of thought. I don't know what I was going with that. Oh, I need to get through Cole's birthday and then I can start doing that. But I, she gave me those duvet inserts and so I was like, ooh, because that's kind of, I want a, I saw a duvet that I wanted and I was like, oh, you have to buy inserts. Because I normally just get like comforters um, or like quilts because when people come, like a lot of my family members are really hot and so they do quilts so that the bed is not so hot and then they'll put a comforter over top like for my grandpa i do that put a comforter over top um because he's very cold natured but yeah i saw some stuff on amazon that i wanted and it was actually on sale and i thought about buying it and i was like well, i don't know if that's 
the vibe I'm going for. I really don't know what I'm going for. Like I said, I've never done really any interior decorating of that sort. And so I don't know what my style is. I don't know exactly what I'm like. And I'm not like aesthetic. I do like plain colors. Like every piece of furniture in my house, as you can see, is like beige and brown or like the dark brown. I absolutely love those colors. Like that's my, that's my vibe. Um, but I'm not like an aesthetic girly. Um, and I think the only room that really got any love and attention and the only room that keeps love and attention is my son's room. So anyways, I'm just unpacking Cole's outside, playing with bubbles and whatever else he can find with my mom and talking to his cousins on the phone. I try to make unpacking easy. Like I keep all our clean clothes on one side, our dirty clothes on the other. And then as soon as I get home, I unpack it and wash the dirty clothes. And then while the dirty clothes are washing, I put up the clean clothes and like our overnight bags, like this is Cole's overnight bag. I don't ever like really have to unpack it. I just make sure it's fully stocked. Like my mom used the hotel towel on him. I still take his little baby towels cause they're just so much softer than the hotel towels, but she used the hotel towel on him. Um, and like his baby oil, his, his baby wash. I still use baby products on him. I don't know. I feel like his skin is really sensitive toothpaste, his little toothbrush, baby powder, and it's still all stocked and good. Um, we are probably not going out of town until May. I have a surprise for him come May, and I don't even think he's gonna know or care, but I'm excited for him. So that's the next time we're going out of town. But anyways, I don't unpack these really. I just leave them packed, take out anything that we might need. I didn't use my little makeup cloth because I did not put on any makeup the whole weekend like the weekend was so fast i am still drained from the jumping thing like the bounce house y'all i felt like i paid to just go to a workout class like that's how tiring it was and cole had fun i'm so glad he had fun he conked out on the way back to the hotel he slept so hard so i can tell he had fun but oh my god it that took us out that took us out if you go to that bounce house like i'm gonna put the website down below because it was really fun and it's going like all over like they have one going on in california one in atlanta i just told my aunt about it because like we had so much fun and it will for sure wear them out it's good fun um but different places and the owners we met the owners they were so nice so helpful um so yeah I'll put that down below if y'all are interested in the world's biggest bounce house. Some family fun, especially as it's getting warmer. Go early in the morning because those bouncies got hot out in the sun. And of course, they got crowded. Um, and the bigger kids started coming out. So if you have littles like me, even though he could hold his own because he was pushing them around, you might want to go early in the morning. <laughs> 